Yeah, after all the comments from the last days, we want to talk about um, some of the wheat stocks uh, who, yeah, went uh, went up like um, like a rocket in the last um, days, especially organic cream, or um, we also have um, sundial growers um, and some other um, stocks from Canada. And I think here we have a weekly chart where every candle is uh, one week. We can see what is the reason or what might be the reason. Um, and I will give you a few examples of what you might already know from the last weeks where you can exactly see the same scenario um, on a weekly base. Um, yeah, it still looks impressive um, from the movement for this week. Even the last week um, was quite, quite a good uh, week in terms of the performance of this stock. Um, but uh, we want to go back on a daily candle and we see today it's more than 30 percent and we got a lot of comments or questions uh, from our website or from a youtube channel why these happen today and i think here it's pretty simple from the news um, you can check different news um, channels there's nothing new or nothing what is um, surprising for the stock the most important all these stocks they are still not profitable um, means that still don't earn money it's more or less i think um, some um, yeah some outlook for the future um, if we consider that um, maybe some more states in the us will legalize uh, marijuana then there's a bigger market um, not only the 15 states who are already um, um, allowed is or like um, canada where it's allowed in the whole country this might be having a big impact in the future but um, for the moment, we have to stick on the numbers. Um, there are a few good news. Um, what yeah, brought this um, um, stocks up or this industry, I would say. And then uh, we had, I think, the same what we saw in other um, stocks like GameStop or like BlackBerry or Nokia or AMC Entertainment, uh, what we had earlier this year. It was pushed um, too fast, uh, too far, I would say. And then, um, yeah, if people see, even me or other investors, uh, you can um, close your position after two, three days with 200% of profit. Then, of course, you will um, better close the position um, to generate a profit and maybe um, try to open a new position later. Because if it's um, going that fast, uh, that high, um, we had so many examples, like I said in the last days, that it was obvious that there will be a correction because. Uh, that's not um, the normal way um, how a stock moves. Of course, it's um, it's interesting. Um, a lot of people, they try even to gamble, I think, on these uh, things. And there are several reasons. I think uh, one we saw really obvious with GameStop, um, what was the most common in the last um, in the last weeks. If you see the chart here, that's not a normal chart. Of course, here the story was a little bit different. But um, the chart at the end uh, might look the same, and we um, will see how these um, wheat stocks, I would say, um, perform in the next days. So, um, and you got, depending on your on your broker, maybe some news that, especially on these stocks, the margin requirements were increased rapidly because um, the broker knows there's a big um, a big risk for their clients, especially if you maybe. Um, short these um, stocks or even on the other hand side try to buy them with margin we can see here for example blackberry what is pretty much the same we have express 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 script <laughs> express incorporation i mean with the symbol ex uh, pr um, these are i think the most common um, together with amc blackberry and um, nokia from the last weeks where we had a similar uh, reaction, um, a similar movement. And I just recommend on a long-term perspective, or if you want to um, trade one of these stocks in a long, on a long-term, try to um, yeah, be patient, use uh, the time and it's coming back. Um, the other things are mostly the cost, I wanna say by gamblers or like uh, by people um, who, Publish this, um, what makes it um, so fast, so high. But um, on the other hand side, we saw it um, with so many different examples here that it will always, um, not always, uh, but mostly coming back to a normal level, I would say. And um, we can have the same example for AMC. I mean, AMC went from um, 
yeah, three dollars up to twenty dollars, and then that's uh, less than than three days. Um, and then you saw like the chart. This is not looking um, like a normal um, stock chart. Also big gaps. What um, um, what we had also in other stocks um, as well, which we um, showed here in this video. Um, and this is also something where you always need to be aware when you see things um, like this, that um, this can't be a normal um, up move. That should be something, um, some big correction coming as well. I mean, there's a few um, examples maybe from the past where I saw similar things, but really then things were caused by a news, let's say a biotech company or pharma company um, who got like the license for a new um, medicine. Then we will have a big gap and it might stay on this level. But uh, most of these stocks, what we discussed here, they had maybe some good news, some good outlook in the beginning, but the rest was um, just pushed by traders by a big volume. Um, and then you um, see that people always uh, generate their profits or close their positions. And um, um, the more people are closing their positions or even trying to short maybe some of these stocks, the faster is the, is the way down. Um, and that's something um yeah what we saw in this um um in this really volatile um way in the last uh, th two three weeks and i'm quite curious uh, what will be maybe the next industry or the next stocks where we can see similar reactions so um yeah please subscribe to our channel i would um, love to welcome you to the next videos um to our next scans or some next symbols uh, where we hopefully find some um, similar stocks um, like we did in the past.